What's up guys? So, um, I figured I would take you through this where I go through a little bit of a warm up this morning. I uh, test my back squat. I talk a little bit about that. By the way, I'm not sure what date I'm releasing this, but the back squat testing started when I was uh, not feeling good. And so my first day I got 0.44 meters a second. The second day I got 0.5. The third day I got 0.53. And most recently, I got 0.56, so it's been upward trajectory. Do I expect that to go up forever? No, but I wasn't feeling good the first day I did it, which is really important because in order to know our highs, we need to know our lows. And so when we do testing and we're assessing somebody's ability, we wanna make sure that we don't just try and test them on days that they feel great. Um, I know athletes like to perform well, that's kind of their thing, right? Like, oh, you know, I want to, especially you too, right? You want to perform well. You want to know that you're doing well and doing, getting better. And no one really likes measuring the lows, right? No one likes to say, oh, man, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not as good as I was a week ago. But take that to context because it's not about, you know, oh, am I, I've gotten worse in a week. No, that's not the case at all. No one gets worse in a week. I guess if you don't do anything, maybe, but... You, uh, <clears throat> you uh, are fatigued, you're tired. It helps you get more understanding, more biological contextual awareness as to how you, your body, is performing. And that's actually really, really important. So when I look at those numbers, yes, it's cool that's going up, up and up, but we want to look at trends over time. So over two months, did my weekly average go up from the first week and the first month to the last week and the last month? Because if I can look at averages and not just daily fluctuations, it removes some of the noise. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you're lifting, you get some days are better. Some days are not better. But that one day doesn't determine the stability of those adaptations. Right? We wanna see how stable those gains are. Because if they're stable, well, that means they're gonna be there long-term. And stability is not reflected by, say, fluctuations day to day. Like, oh, if you don't get enough sleep from last night, yeah, you might not squat as well, but that doesn't mean your adaptations are gone. So when we look at um, our ability to progress, we want to find ways to remove the noise, false signals. We want to get information. So um, think about it like static on a radio station or broadcast. You're trying to listen to music or a signal coming in on the radio. If there's a lot of static, it's hard to hear the signal, right? And so we wanna remove some of the static. And if we do that, we can hear the, the signal clearer. And the way we do that, we remove some of the static, is we take a signal over a period of time. We don't just say, oh, let's do today's testing. Whew, as I'm kinda of getting warmed up here, breathing a little heavier. We uh, wanna look at how that testing compared to the past. And if we have <clears throat> some indicators saying then, look, I can repeat this effort over and over again, that's a good thing. That effort being a higher level. So that brings up two things. Let me get my two reps in here. A little quicker this time. I'm starting to warm up. Two. The two things are that we want to look at peaks and repeatability. Did someone get better one time? Good. An all-time high peak. And can they repeat efforts around that peak? When you repeat efforts around a peak, that is stability. That's a good thing. So that's, those are some things to think about, some ponder, things you can ponder as we uh, move through this and I start to track my progress. Because I don't just want to be, oh, today, yesterday, whatever. I want to assess over time and really be able to map out whether these gains are what I think they are or if they're just flashes in the pan. So, 
as I get my 25 out over here. That's why we do all this stuff. Um, well, you might ask, Max, why aren't you doing the rate of force development testing? Good question. I don't want to set it up right now. That's something I'll do only so often. It does require a little bit more setup. The nice thing about the back squat is that there's no setup outside of getting warmed up. Um, and I'm probably going to do leg-like movements anyway today, so it's not super hard to just get the back squat set up. And uh, I'll do the RFD probably once a week, maybe twice a week at most. Warming up sure is something, isn't it? Well, um, cool. So as I get warmed up here, moving to the heavier weights and uh, I'll get the VBT set up. But that's kind of what we're looking for. As I'm kind of out of breath for our testing. And we're gonna track our results today. Our previous best again was 0.56. So let's see if we can get better today. And then uh, we'll start lifting a little heavier here. All right, here we go, guys. We're we're live here, is this thing on? Hello, yep, we're good. Cool, so we now have 365 on the bar. We're gonna start squatting here for a little bit of speed. Do my last warm up set at 315 before this. So we got four of these. first one is never a good one. The first one's always slow, so we don't expect to set a record on our first rep. We're just getting used to being under the bar. I think that was that 0.47 it said. We'll check it out. So that one was 0.44, which is funny because that's where it was my first day when I was tired and that felt like crap because I'm not just being under the bar yet and that was my best last time. Just shows you what fatigue does to you, huh? And get, get this thing moving a little bit here. Oh, 0.48, here we go. Starting to get warm, starting to cook. Aim for that 0.55 realm. 0.55, that should be awesome. All right, rep three. I guess it's gonna be 0.51 to 0.52 on this one. Here we go. Oh, it's like I've done this before. 0.51. I might get two more reps. That first rep was so not ready. That was a good one, though. 0.51, we'll take it. 0.51. Nice, nice. All right, so 0.44, 0.48, 0.51. So this is the 0.54 here. Is that how math is working today? 0.54, 0.55. Two more reps, just two more. Here we go. Big drive. You gotta really explode the bottom. Can't let off the gas. Here we go. Here we go. Big drive. There's the 5 3. The last one might be the 5 5. We'll call it a day. All right, last set, last set, five, four, 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 eight, five, one, five, three. Here's my five, five right here. Here it comes. We need a five, six, because this is might be a rocket ship. Oh, this is a good one. This is a great one. Best rep of the day right here. Best rep. No, it's okay. That's fine. Five one, five three, five two for the day. Good. So, why though? Why? Let's think about it. So, I. What about my calf all of a sudden. Um, why though? Why is it less today? Well, a lot, a lot of things. One, I, I tapered off the previous days, but also I may or may not have felt really good yesterday. I went to the field and ran. Did some jumps there. 
um, after I did my 435 RDL, the 435 pound RDL, all time like PR kind of thing, messing around. I did some hang cleans, I did some high pulls. Um, I went to run on the field, and then I came back like at two o'clock, and I did really heavy box squats, high above parallel, at like 505 pounds. So a lot of load. <laughs> Haven't even been 24 hours yet. It's like 9 a.m. in the morning. So I don't expect it to be like through the roof. Maybe in the afternoon be better. Um, I haven't had 24 hours to recover. So take that in consideration as always when you're training and testing because you don't want to get like, oh no, that was bad or it was good or you know, just take it in consideration. So we take the average 5'1", 5'3", 5'2", we'll do it. I'm not, I might just do one more rep. I think I can go a little faster. I think positionally that was, could be better. But you know, I'm like an addict. I'm like a, a performance chasing addict. That's what happens when you get a VBT on a stinking bar. You just want to do more reps. So screw it. I'm not even going to reset the camera. We're just going to let it ride. That was my rest. If you saw it real time, I think I can beat it. I think I can. You can get a 5.5. Five. I really do. I just gave you a talk. I just, I just gave you a talk about how it's okay. But now I'm just going to go for it anyway. Screw it. Oh, you're coming for you. I'm coming for you. Five, five. Here it is. Oh! Get out of here. Yes. Five, six. Five, six. Are you kidding me? I told you. I told you. I'm playing games with these legs. Playing games with these legs. Ah, ah. Let's go. Juiced. What? Big time. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you listening, tuning in, subscribe, like, follow along. As always, much appreciated and hope you all enjoy.